Diary of a Mad Gardener is really great. There are some good messages in this. It's really educational and it's very cleverly written. And it starts off with Rabbit writing in his garden diary. And when writing about vegetables, he doesn't write the full word. He just writes the first letter of the vegetable's name and then writes a description of the vegetable's current state of growth. Unfortunately, a page from his diary blows away in the wind and it lands with... Tigger, Piglet, Pooh Bear and Eeyore, who are very conveniently together at the same time. And the initials of the vegetables Rabbit has been writing about are, well, they're P, P, E and T, which can also stand for Pooh, Piglet, Eeyore and Tigger. And there's a description of the vegetable that makes perfect sense for the vegetable, but it also makes perfect sense for the characters. For example, I won't explain them all, but one of them is plump. The vegetable that Rabbit was talking about was quite plump. And it just so happens that Pooh Bear thinks that that P refers to Pooh Bear and he's being described as plump and he doesn't like this. And none of the characters like their descriptions. And there's this really great song and it's really well edited. And we have them all singing together about how they're not happy with this. And part of the message here is that Words can be used to describe both people and objects. And this is represented, of course, with the characters thinking the information is about them, but we, the viewer, know it's about vegetables. And this plays out um, really fantastically, really good fun. I do think it's very cleverly written. I think the words they chose were, were absolutely perfect. They're not too complex. Obviously, plump is quite a straightforward word. Tigger's word um, was a little bit more complex, but it's a good opportunity to teach a young viewer a word that they may not quite be aware of yet. So that aspect of it, I thought, was great. Definitely can get children thinking about descriptions and how they refer to things and refer to people. So that's a great message. The other message as well is that you shouldn't jump to conclusions and that you shouldn't assume something. Because while it seemed obvious to them that these descriptions were about them, they were just guessing. They didn't know for a fact. I will say it was a pretty sensible guess, considering that they knew the paper was from Rabbit, because the paper had Rabbit's name on it. They knew it was from Rabbit. So, yeah, all right, it is a pretty sensible guess that it was about them, but they didn't know for certain. And they shouldn't have jumped to conclusions without at least speaking to Rabbit first. So that's a really important message as well, and one that we can all benefit from uh, at any age and any stage of life. A really good episode, one that I really thoroughly enjoyed from start to finish. I thought it was pretty fantastic, very engaging, no complaints from me at all.